The Walking Dead is such a, a phenom. And when I was like looking yeah. over your career, a lot of times you're the guy who comes into a pre existing cast, a show that's already on the air. It's a tougher position to enter into a successful show. Am I correct? Yeah. Well, because if then the ratings drop or the story doesn't keep uh, uh, the audience riveted as it has for the previous seven years, you know who's going to take the blame? Is, is fucking me. The guy <laughs> who comes you, in. You yeah. believe, you believe uh, that. So was there a fear when you took the Negan role that you were going to? fuck up the show <laughs> well i think for a couple of reasons one is just because that role in itself is is a is a big ballsy role uh it sure is you know i think that's a tough fucking role it's a tough it? challenge and he talks so fucking much yeah i mean it's it's non-stop before i get a script for an episode negan talks 99 percent of it and then rick grunts yeah you know? right i was gonna say there's the dialogue <laughs> there's, there's no, a monologue. It's a monologue. As an just actor, monologue monologue as an actor do you get resentful of that or do you say to yourself hey this is good for me <laughs> no, I'm i get like, pissy you do <laughs> I get, I get like, pissy. I, like help me out here. yeah Give i'm like some. let somebody else talk yeah Dude, i think it's fascinating i don't know how many people understand how you got that role you were on a show called the good wife yeah. which was very successful on cbs oh yeah and while you're on that show, I guess the people contacted you and said, hey, we want you to play a role on The Walking Dead, but we can't tell you what it That's is. That's exactly right, yeah. And, 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 like, what is that all about? Because they wanted to keep the Negan character so top secret? Yeah, I mean, and now that I've been with the show for a year, everything is shrouded in secrecy. Like, we don't, <laughs> we don't even get scripts until the last minute, which for me is horrible because I usually have so much talking to now do. Now, describe that because when you filmed the first episode... Yeah. You ha they give you the script 48 hours in advance. Yes. And you are the entire episode. It was the last uh, last episode of season six. Yeah, it was the last 15 minutes of it, and it was just one big, big monologue. Big monologue. Yeah. You can memorize that in in, uh, in two days? Well, That's luckily what happened, I was here in New York doing The Good Wife, right. and we got the call about the show, and they wouldn't tell me who it was. And I By the way, isn't that a great moment in your career when you don't have to audition, and like they just call you oh, and thank say... Thank fucking God. Right, oh, yeah. Because I hate auditioning. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I always... I was never very good at it and and thankfully ever since i did gray's anatomy right you know 10 years ago or whatever it was now i haven't had to audition for anything isn't i think the last great? audition i had was for watchman isn't that nice that it's the greatest thing in the world they think of you as negan like it wasn't like they sat there right. and came up with 20 other guys yeah that, i found that to be a little crazy actually i guess the comedian in watchman was the closest thing i'd ever done to that character but but yeah, I think that was taking a chance on their part, especially considering I think what you most people had seen me in at that time was either Good Wife or 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 uh, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. So it's a big jump. How do they know you can handle it? And like, how do you even know you can handle doing it? They don't show you a script, right? They, yeah, no. Did they dis and they wouldn't discuss the character Negan? They just said we want you well, for something. Here's the, they knew they called and said it's going to be a villain. And right. because I'm a fan of the show, I know kind of exactly where we are in the story. And so I was like, oh, it's fucking Negan, right? You know that I knew so immediately. So you're that familiar with the comic book and all well, of that? Well, you know when the, this character was first introduced I was at a comic-con and someone a fan came up to me and said oh they just introduced his character in Walking Dead and you should be this guy oh. and that was five years ago so a I, fan wow. said that to you yeah but to think that the creators of the show said hey this guy would be perfect for yeah Negan. because the your role in Good Wife is so opposite that it's guy very much the opposite you know I've done enough stuff I guess that if you look for it you can find me playing a bad guy in various things here's the thing though I heard you I, I think you said this and it was actually very profound for me. It changed uh, my thinking on something. Did you say, maybe I have this wrong, that Negan, when you were preparing the, the, the character, that Negan thinks of himself as a good guy? Yeah. In other words, he was attacked by this crew yeah. of people. They killed his people. He doesn't see himself as a bad man. I thought that was pretty interesting. You know what? It's interesting that you should say that because I, you know, I often hear actors say they don't think of their characters as villains. Yeah. That right. they've got to find something they like about them, something good about them. Yeah. And I was like, what do you find about Negan? Yeah, well, that if, resonated for me. If I think if you put yourself in this apocalyptic zombified world um i think anybody that survived this long has probably done some bad things if you look at rick and, oh, sure. and the survivors they've yeah. done some horrible right they, they killed 30 of my men while they slept that's right you know yeah. and so so far i've tapped a couple dudes in the head with a baseball bat and all of a sudden <laughs> it's the end so of the bad. world when you, when you <laughs> mention that it's kind of like hey you don't come to think of it you should fucking kill a few <laughs> more right. of them exactly. You're actually nice. not nearly <laughs> I, I think it's kind of justified